Hello, and welcome to another edition of Case and Creations. This is my version of a Middle Eastern inspired brunch. I was looking for a bunch of different recipes that had to do with eggs. This was a dual production with my aunt. We did one of three recipes today when we did Facebook Live. The first thing I did is I preheated the oven to 425 degrees. I took my sweet potatoes and my tomatoes and I and I split them down the middle on a, on a foil lined pan. Seasoned them with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. Put them in the oven, cooked them for about 20 minutes until the sweet potatoes were soft. Then I took one tablespoon of olive oil. I added my red onions, let that sweat, so which would be sauteing for about two to three minutes. While that was sauteing, I got my dried ingredients, my herbs, and I put them together in a bowl. I had a half teaspoon of ground cumin, I had a half teaspoon of ground mustard, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of ground ginger, quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika, three garlic cloves, a little bit of half teaspoon of salt, and maybe a quarter teaspoon of pepper. You stirred that all around. And then from there, we stirred it up a little bit more. Again, we're trying to get the onion sweat. While that was cooking, we ended up going over the other ingredients, which we had some chickpeas. We had one can drained. We had one can of black beans drained. And then we had our tomato and sweet potato mixture. From there, you got some, you got a spinach, and then you got four eggs. You got two teaspoons of lemon juice plus the zest. And finally, you're gonna finish everything off with a little bit of cilantro and your casa fresca. So now we've added the dry herbs. My recommendation whenever you have anything with dry herbs is to sweat your vegetables first, and then go ahead and add your herbs to the pan. You're gonna get that nice aroma that you're looking for. You're gonna be cooking it for about 30 to 40 seconds. And the nice thing about that is that at the very end, when you add your acid, you're gonna actually bring out the flavors. So now what we're doing is we're adding the other ingredients. We're adding the chickpeas, the tomatoes, and the sweet potato black beans you're going to stir that around and the main thing that we're trying to do here is we're just trying to bring everything to a nice warm you know heat it up so it's about probably about two to three minutes that's all it's going to take to heat this up once you've heated that up you're going to want to go ahead and add your lemon juice and the zest you're going to stir that around for maybe about 30 seconds now that's your acid that's going to bring out all the flavor of all the herbs and then from there Go ahead and add your spinach. In this case, our skillet was just a little too small for what we were doing, but we were able to get it all happen. And that takes probably about two to three minutes. And then while that was, uh, while the spinach was melting, we ended up getting our eggs. We put them in little bowls because it makes it a little bit easier to put it into the skillet once we're at that point. But as I said, it was a little bit smaller. As you can tell though, we did get the spinach in. We were able to wilt it down. And then from there, you want to just flatten the entire skillet. And that's where you're gonna take an extra spoon and you're gonna just make two little wells. So as we mentioned earlier, this recipe does serve four people. So in this case, we did end up using four eggs. We demonstrated, I think, two in this particular case, but we finished it off. Once you uh, go ahead and put the eggs in, as you can see, is what we're doing right now. You're gonna go ahead and put the lid on it and you're gonna let it steam essentially for about four to five minutes or to whatever your desired thickness when it comes to eggs as far as the you know yolk itself. As you can see, we put the four eggs in, we put the top on, we let that cook. While that was cooking, we uh, kept looking at it every so often. As you can tell, about two of the two of the four eggs were done. We let it cook for a couple more minutes, and then once it was completed, we put it on a nice little plate. So we did two servings in this particular dish. And like I said, it does feed four. So just, I would recommend taking the egg, taking one egg at a time, and then taking the uh, the rest of the ingredients that are around it. And that will be one serving. Again, do that again with the second egg, put that on another plate, put that around. And uh, and we did finish it with a little bit of salt and pepper at the very end, which unfortunately did not get shown. But yeah, so you add a little bit of salt and pepper to, you know, to taste. So trying to get the plate all nice and pretty. And then I got another plate going here and uh, add some more. Um, so I tried to do my father who was doing the camera work. Thanks dad for uh, for doing this. And as you can see down below this entire time, which I forgot to mention earlier, my aunt is preparing her famous Mianera sauce, which is a great marinara sauce, which will be uh, presented a little bit later this week. But like I said, I am taking and we're making two plates and then we're gonna finish it with your queso fresca and then your cilantro. And I would serve this with either some pita bread since that does have a little bit of a Middle Eastern flair to it, or maybe even just a nice little baguette, just to you have something to, you know, go in into the eggs and, uh, and, you know, swipe it up and whatnot. So you can find the recipe at plantobefit.org backslash Thank you for uh, 